Hello, this is Stéphane from Conductor, and welcome to this lecture on the Conductor Hands-On, where we're going to start playing with Kafka producers. Okay, so let's start producing some data into our Kafka topics. And to do so, at the top of Conductor, you have Producer to create a new producer. So let's go ahead and we have a new window here. And so we need to choose a topic to send data to. So we have my first topic right here, and you can see again that the topic that you put favorites on are going to be at the top of the list. So my first topic is what we want to send data to, and then you have to specify the key and the value for your data. So the key is optional and the value is optional as well, but so we in programming usually send hello world to a Kafka topic when we want to get started. So I'm going to click on send, uh, write hello world and then click on send, and my first message is being sent to my Kafka topic. As you can see, the message was being sent and in Conductor, the last write column has been also updated right here. So this is a column called last write. And so because we've just sent a message into our Kafka topic, it just says last write, uh, last write now, which is a nice feature of Conductor. Okay, so we have this data and we are sending some messages. And so if I send the send message again, as you can see now, the first one went to my first topic zero, so partition zero of my first topic, and the second message went to my first topic two. This is because we are not setting up a key, and so the data is going to be sent in a round robin fashion. So if I click on send again, we're going to go into my first topic two offset one, so this is the offset right after the first offset in the same partition. And so if you click on sending data, as you can see, data is going to be spread across different partitions, and then the offsets are going to increase over time. So that's a cool feature. Now, another thing is that we have set up string as a serializer. So this drop down right here represents the serializer of your data. So you have a JSON serializer, a string serializer, a long serializer, a double, a float, and a bytes for base64. But there will be Avro as well and so on when we set up the schema registry. So what is a serializer? As I said, it is the way for you to transform data from an object, for example, a string, into bytes in Apache Kafka. And so once you have set up a serializer for a topic, you need to keep that serializer all the time. Otherwise, you will have problems reading the topic. And so it is best for a topic to only have one kind of serializer for the key and the value. So I can send some other data into my topic and click on send. Now, something else I want to show you. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to open the producer again just to have a new window. So something else I want to show you is that if we go into my first topic and we say uh, test with key as the value, and we're going to specify a key, so I will say test, then because we are to specify a key, the same messages are going to go into the same partition all the time. So if I click on send, as you can see, my message was sent to partition number two, offset number three in my first topic, and if I send again, is going to be, again, a partition number two, offset number four. So the more I send messages, as you can see, all these messages are all going into the same partition, which is partition number two, and the offsets for that partition are increasing over time. Okay, another thing you can do with Conductor is save as templates. So if you have uh, this template to send to my first topic, so send to my first topic, you can save this template right here by clicking on save, and you'll be good to go. And then you can create a new template and switch between templates to pre-fill the data in here, which can be quite handy. Uh, another thing you can do with Conductor is to generate random data. So if you want to send some random data into Apache Kafka, you could by choosing a type of serializer you want and then generating some random data. And this can be quite helpful when you get to start to testing your applications and you want to make sure that your application can handle any kind of random data sets. Okay, another one you can use is flow. So I will just do hello world again. And if we flow, you can basically send messages every, for example, one second. So with this example, I'm going to send data. So and start on the right hand side. And this is going to send one message every second into Apache Kafka. And so this is what's happening on the right hand side. And again, this is quite handy because we can just send data very quickly and test our topics. Okay, so we're good to go here. Um, you can send headers for your messages as well. If you wanted to set them here, you can add headers 
and then set the key and the value or delete them. And by default in Conductor, when we send data into a Kafka topic, we, send the app, we set the app name header to be equal to Conductor. Okay, Produ uh, advanced options for your producers if you wanted to, such as forcing your partitions, although this is not very recommended. Compression types, so gzip, snappy, lz4, zstd, or none. And the acts that we haven't seen just yet. Okay, and then one last thing I want to show you is that if you want to produce data into a, from a CSV, you can do produce from CSV, and then here you can just choose a CSV file and send all the data from the CSV into your Kafka topic, which can be quite handy again. Okay, so that's it for the producer. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.